Hey everybody, this is Eddie Sand, and you are here because you want to glance or listen to this Google Doc that you have access to right now. And this is the three mistakes that I have found most common in sales calls that I've reviewed. So right here in front of you, you already see this um, whiteboard of this training, this Google Doc training that you have access to now. The details are there, but let me glance through them right now so that you know what you're getting into. So number one is, these are the three questions that I answer in there. And uh, again, but at the end of this video, you can always uh, down here, I'll put a link to download it just in case you haven't done so yet. So number one, why is it that I get so many objections at the end of the call? Well, here it is. You're talking too much. So you need to have a mindset shift and understand that people are there to actually see if you're the right solution. The second thing is that they want to feel confident that you're the right person to that they need for their problem to be solved. And they need to learn to trust you. That doesn't mean they're going to trust you right away. However, I'm hoping that if you are having a conversation with them, that means they like you. So, so that don't mess it up, right? They, they are there because they like you now build a little bit more trust and that's how you do it. So how do you do that? Well, first you got to listen, be very good at listening, the listening skills, um, ask questions, but the questions should be for clarification for yourself, for you to be clear about what it is that they need and how you can actually solve it. All right. So number two, how do I increase our conversion rate? Go to your video sales calls, uh, the recorded video sales calls and study that. You'll be surprised. You may find many things that are actually pushing the person away from actually buying. And so again, just go look and listen. If you are recording the calls, auto, um, audio recordings, listen to them, watch them and you'll see. And uh, another, another thing that you want to adapt, uh, oh, excuse me, ad adopt into your presentation is start dropping the price early in the conversation. Instead of waiting for that uncomfortable moment at the end where you now have to ask for money, why don't you just do it through the conversation? So again, go into the Google Doc, you'll, you're, you'll read the details and I even give you some scripts uh, for examples so that you can actually make it yours. Uh, number three, when is a good time to increase prices? It, right now. <laughs> it's so, uh, this, this, actually, this question is really fun for me to go through because don't you know that it is a, a very often conversation in my community that I have with increasing prices? It's something that when I listen to their value and how much they're asking, I'm always saying, increase it, go up, go up, go up. And so it's such an uncomfortable experience uh, to begin with. So I'm going to answer this by why do I think that most of us, that including me, I have, I've had that happen to me. Most of us hesitate to ask for more money. And I think the number one reason, there's many, okay? Um, so this is not the only reason, but for me, the number one reason I believe is that we have been, um, um, uh, we have been in the world of money-driven hype. The money, money-driven makers out there, the money-driven uh, marketers who are hyping up the 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 way to make money and so you know what i mean you know what i'm talking about the presentations where they basically say hey this is the total price of the program but if you act now we will add bonus number one bonus number two bonus number three and for those of you who do it right now we'll have a special something right now and only for the first 10. <laughs> right so if you can relate to that and it's something that you just, oh, it's, it's yucky to you, then welcome to my world because that means that you and I are kindred spirits. We are purpose-driven, purpose-driven professionals, purpose-driven entrepreneurs uh, who are always wanting to give value and we actually do care for others and that's what we do. We like to support and to give, and sometimes we tend to forget to help ourselves. We've got to pay bills, right? 
So here's just some of the things that you can start doing to increase prices. Again, the details are on the Google Doc. And again, you can also download the, the, the Google Doc underneath this video. However you got here, you've got access to it, all right? So number one is uh, starting, start, if you're starting, if you're in a starting point in your business, what you want to make sure you do is you have a lot of, um, a lot of groups or a lot of uh, sessions where you can prove that your program and your services do work. Uh, it's also known as proof of concept, right? What you do is you take the tangible results from that person, that group, however it is that you do it, and you use that to increase price. So an example, if your price is $100 for your program, then when you have now tangible results, like a testimonial, basically, when you have tangible results, you can now say, all right, so from 100, you can go to 500. If you're 500, you can go to 1,000 because the results are there, right? So you need to have uh, some sort of, of, of entry gateway into your program that it's a, it's a win for you and it's a win for them. Uh, again, details on the Google Doc. The other thing is if you're already scaling, if you're ready to scale, well, I don't have to tell you anymore. I mean, you have people going through it. Just make sure you're asking for the magnetic testimonial type of, of um, tangible results, meaning the before and after technique. Yeah. You, do you know, this is fun fact, do you know that the before and after technique uh, of, of selling wellness programs and wellness pills or supplements dates back to the 20s, uh, the, in 1920s. It, it, they all started with the newspaper and magazines and, and started writing the before and after because of a pill, a magic pill or whatever like that, or exercises. That's how it all started. And today, companies are still spending millions of dollars on advertising that are this type of of technique, the before and after technique. Now that I've told you, you might be now aware and sensitive. The next time you'll see one, you'll see what I mean. So we need to stop complicating the testimonial part and just get right to the point. Again, there's an example in the Google Doc that you'll you'll see about what a magnetic testimonial looks like. All right, so this is it. This is your three questions that are in here. 